I think someone's crying. <laughs> what happened? Something terrible is wrong. Why are you crying? What happened? I had a second child in my family. <laughs> and I had six other sisters who were killed <laughs> just because they are female. Six oh. girls were killed? But why? That's the same old problem, female infanticide. I can't believe it happens these days. <laughs> my eldest sister is pregnant. <laughs> the eighth month, we have taken her to city hospital <laughs> to find out okay. about her gender. The child is okay? <laughs> the child is also a female. Really worried about my niece's life. <laughs> we need to address this problem. Something that we can do. We must do something about this. C can you? Arrange a meeting so you call all the elders, we will meet with them and we want to talk to them. Can you do that? Yeah. You think you can arrange that? Yeah, surely. Life is precious. Male is male and female is female. They are both unique, that is their similarity. And they are both different, that is their identity. Both are equal, that is how they are made. That is the law of eternity, the power of the word and the strength of reality. You people need to understand that. Do not kill is what is written, but I give you people a new command. Do not kill even female. All life is God's providence and will be taken care by God. Can't you see the birds of the air? Who feeds them? Listen to this. A woman is not a burden. She is not a slave. She is not for destruction. She is not a sex machine. She is made for a purpose. Allow her to fulfill this. If a woman does wrong, God will take care. But you do not kill. This is the ultimatum for you to decide today. Make it happen. You people who give birth to women need not pay for marriage. And you men who take women, take only her, not her money as well. Get married for the cause of marriage, not for the cost of marriage. This is the word. Give her the space even in the womb. This is the ultimatum.